All right, we got a situation. I was just minding my own business, taking change out the pad, and I broke the brake line. All rusty. That's all broken. So I was in the process of changing out the line. I mean the the pads, and this got all rusty and broke on me. So I put a screw with a Teflon tape to stop the leakage of the brake fluid coming through there. But we're gonna have to take that off. I'm gonna take this off and give it a new one. So from a simple brake job to a broken brake line, this is where we are right now. So. So tools you're gonna need to get this job done. There's the old one with the broken line. So this came out of the front passenger side. So do make a note of that there's a big difference between caliper. Uh, so make sure you get the correct uh, right side for this for this one at least. So right side caliper is the part number from Amazon. 11226. So the caliper um, looks like it's probably been refurbed. It comes with the clips, you need this, new pins. Uh, here's where the, the spricket for the brake line will go in. And then there's a four piston caliper because it's a big truck, so you need all that power. Here's the left. That's the part number for that one. 1110225 is the left side. That's that one. So we might as well replace, uh, we replace one, we're gonna replace the other. A couple parts to know. Uh, this is actually from an OEM from Toyota, uh, which I'm probably gonna end up using the OEM as I start doing more cars, at least my own cars, I start to more, use more OEM products. So here's the left side part, um, part number. You can take a screenshot of that. And here's the right side part number. And this is, uh, both of them was like eight bucks altogether. Not too shabby, but if you wanted to, you could replace it with the aftermarket. This is from Amazon. Here's the part number. You can take a screenshot of that. And suppose this is more durable, it has a special coating, but I'm just gonna use the OEM. That's from Amazon, that's about 10 bucks. Other things to get the job done, flashlight, anti-seize, I rec recommend you put that on your bolts. I'm gonna have inside already. I am not an auto mechanic. I am just doing this to help you guys save money. This is a cost savings and finance channel, so just trying to help you guys save money. So do this at your own risk. I can't be held liable because I am not a professional. Gloves, more gloves. Uh, this truck recommends a dot three, so Presto and Brock dot three. Uh, my all-time favorite, needle nose plier from uh, Walmart for seven bucks. Flathead, ratchet, a number ten. Uh, open end uh, wrench, ratchet wrench, and a couple sockets you're gonna need is a 12 millimeter socket, and then you're gonna need a 17 millimeter socket. See if I can zoom in on that. Let me just tilt it for you. Let me see, yeah, 17 millimeter, folks. So, this is what's gonna take get the job done. You need all these uh, to get it done. Now, uh, probably just gonna film one side, you get the idea. You do the opposite to the other side so we'll just do one side at least i'll record that part all right let's get started yo forgive me for the noise because it's kind of windy today while i'm filming this but we're gonna make that like that so we're gonna dry fit everything to make sure everything is perfect before i actually install it into the truck so this is a 10 millimeter so take this off This is so rusty, normally the head moves. This head usually normally moves. So, 10 millimeter, put that out. Now, by the way, uh, it's not a full tutorial on doing your brakes, there's a tutorial on fixing your brake line. So, this, the, if you've seen my other video, how to break to change out the brake. Uh, clicking the uh, cards up above, I'll put the card for that video. Check that video out, you wanna change just the brakes. But today we're just doing a brake line. So this video is just brace and brake line only. So the part comes off. 
and we can see it matches this one. Everything lines up. These pins we're gonna have to remove. So yeah, see that. You should be able to slide right up. And in dandy um, needle nose plier. We go here and take those clips off. Pull these out like so. Make sure you pull this one out first. There you go. This comes off. Don't lose these. You will need these for later. This just helps the, you'll see when the pads come in, they have two slots that slide right into. Like I said, you want to see that video, check out that video on the actual changing of the pads. But we're just doing um brake line today. So we'll leave that. that. Set this aside. Don't make sure we don't lose it. This should be the correct side for the right side for this uh, 2007 Toyota Tundra 4.7 liter front caliper. So this should look exactly like that. So we'll crack this open. See how I told you this is kind of, this is how it should be. Kind of loose compared to the old one. It doesn't remove it all, so the head's like, on there so pro tip do not put any teflon on here you don't need to put any teflon in here this is uh the way it works is by you tightening this it'll squeeze tightly it'll keep everything sealed as far as the fluid so do not put any extra teflon glue or anything like that you don't need it come straight out like that and just put it back in just as so pro tip there now let's make sure this one works so this is the new one or refurb yeah, that works. Cap comes off. That's how we're going to bleed it. If I have time, I'll show you how to bleed the brakes. We'll see, because um, I have to return the rental car that I have and go back to work tomorrow. So if I have time, I'll show you how to bleed it. But you need you can do a one person, but I like to do a two person job. I have my son uh, pump the brakes a couple times, basically open this up. This is when it's in the car already. Everything's like in. Uh, pump the have this close Have my son pump the brakes like maybe three four times until it gets really stiff Tell him to keep pressure on the brakes Crack it open let the air come out squirt out close it back do that about three times again open close open close You're basically getting all the air out of this this line right here. You see what you're doing the reservoir up there I'll show you a little pro tip here is I usually crack it open That way when you push the caliper back this right here you push it back in, it pushes the fluid back to the reservoir. That way you don't have to bleed it. Technically, you don't have to bleed it. But because I created a hole, I do need to bleed it because there's air in this line. So I usually crack the reservoir open. I'll show you. So the reservoir is right there. It's actually open. That way, when I'm pushing back the caliper on the, on the uh, pistons, it'll push the fluid back into this reservoir. All right, a pro tip there.
So this is from my local um, automotive place, Duralas Ceramic. It's supposed to be lifetime, so this is what you use. And that's not the actual pad. It's just a picture. These, usually the scratch side goes on the inside of the car. That way you know how much uh, padding you have left. So these are the same, so you can't use those. Set that aside. Just dig for the rest. And this, uh, So this should be either one of these together. Uh, one of these together. That's how they should be paired. One should have a little nubby thing here. So, yeah, yeah. All right. you guys got this. I believe you. All right, so we're gonna take this off. This is a 10 millimeter, and that's just a plug I use to prevent the fluid from leaking out. A 10 millimeter. Hopefully, with a little bit of luck, this is, comes out pretty, pretty easily here. And there will be fluid coming out, so might as well put a rag nearby. It's just the way it is. All right, happy Lucy. PB Blast, you the best. It came out. You the best PB Blast. This thing moves, so we're gonna get it in alignment. Try and find a hole. Go to your home. Get in your home. Bring the money. Whew. Legs was cramping up. My fingers were cramping up. All kinds of stuff. Let's put the bottom on. There is two of these, so you have one more down here. Um, as you can see in the old one, there's two of them. Uh, right there. One, two. That's why I'm reaching down. I can't film and do it at the same time. Forgive me, folks. And a guy decided to cut his lawn. So. Yeah, it's about to get noisy. All right, forgive me for the noise. Uh, there's a guy cutting his lawn behind me. Uh, so we're gonna snug up. This is the 17 millimeter that holds the caliper in place. And when I'm done this, then I'll snug up the uh, brake line. I'll do that last because that's more fragile.
All right, bonus time. Since we're here, I'm gonna show you how I put the back, the brake pads back on. Again, forgive me for the noise. We'll play some music in the background as we do this. Just do about the back of it with this, whatever I think we're supposed to do. Should slide in like butter. Probably not recommended, but probably won't hurt. Put some anti seize on the bottom plates of these that way. Next time we have to do this, we have no problems. Just a little, little haze, nothing big. This. This thing moves. There it is. Same thing here. Get those pins that we had earlier. Some there, 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 some there. We'll look for the holes later. Slide right in perfect. I think as long as the rotor spins and brake stops, it's just extra stuff that we don't care about. Not that we don't care, we just don't care. There it goes. It's gonna go, it's gonna get. Yeah, I like it, whatever, we're done. So locked, locked, pins are in, this is locked in, this is locked in. We did the 17s, the 12, and we locked in the brake line. Right here's the setup. So what I did was got a empty water bottle, bought a hose, and stick it all to the bottom, the jug there, connect the hose to the nip up there for the bleed line. So I'm gonna have a son pump the brakes until it gets really stiff. I'm gonna have him hold it and then I'm gonna release, let all the air out of the line. Do that about three times uh, unless I see real bubbles and I'll keep continuing until that happens. And we're gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. All right, so pump, 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 hold, and we're gonna release, and then fluid's gonna gush out. We're gonna, that's how we're gonna get air out of the line. Just for you folks. That's what she'll look like. You know, now the fluid's coming through, goes straight to the bottle, and we'll keep doing that until this thing is primed and air is out of there. All right. All right, I'll put it back together. So. Some shiny new brake calipers there, as you can see. So, if you like this kind of content, we're talking about personal finance, cost savings by doing stuff yourself and starting a business online so it could be financially free. Listen, I know you're watching these videos because you believe personal finance is achievable. I appreciate you guys, every single one of you watching these videos, and hitting subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video.